All right, guys, here's what's going on today. We are back in Magnet, Indiana, population five, and we have a traffic jam. And Captain Kleeman trying to catch flying leaves. Okay, guys, in all seriousness, this is what we got going. Is uh, we This is a retaining wall we worked on a few different times, and we're going to pour a cap on it. Eric's got it all formed up, got a rebar in it, got a three inch reveal on it. I'm gonna pour it across there, then eventually the three inch reveal, I'll show you later, it's gonna have stone come up, so it'll look really nice right there. But uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a booger to get her poured, but I think we'll get her. Uh, it's a nice day to do it, beautiful scenery. It's gonna be a good time. Watch out, I'm getting ready to get ran over. All right, it's go time. Nicest sounding back of the one I think I've ever heard. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I know. Is he doing anything about it? Every time I see him work, he's working. He's got that in his hand. Wait a minute. Oh, I hear it. Got rocks at least. Yummy. The whole trick to this is having the concrete about the right slump. It'll work down in there, but then you don't have to worry about it pushing. Uh, we're pouring this right now about a four. It'll shove a little bit with a little bit of vibration. It'll come on through. Start doing one handed. Okay guys, so just a quick little explanation of what's going on here. So basically we backed the truck up so far and we're so high up on the steps that he can't lower the chute no more. And the concrete being at this slump, it won't run down the chute. So basically the chute and that little catch basin up there at the top's full. We're just trying to rake it out to uh, get this step here filled up. That way we can get the uh, get the truck repositioned and uh, come at it from a different come at it from a different angle here. So um, yeah. That's basically what's going on. Just trying to get the concrete out of the chute so we can get repositioned and then keep on going. All right, guys, as you've seen, we got those uh, bottom four steps poured. That's as high as the concrete truck could reach up. So we got him moved up there on top and we can shoot him down. The problem is it gets a little more difficult because we're eight feet off the ground now. So look like looking down the barrel of a concrete chute there. But uh, we're getting her.
All right, guys, we're closing in on her. That's the uh, last little step. We gotta go back and get her all finished. All right, uh, guys, it's time to get this thing finished. So the first thing we're gonna do is run the edges and uh, get that looking nice. Definitely starting to set up a little bit. It takes a little bit of pressure to get done what you need to. You get a corner like that that don't look the prettiest, grab you a little bit of cream out of the center there. Look at that, beautiful. Once you get everything around the edges done, I come back with a mag float. You can also come back with a steel float. This really kind of depends on how the concrete's behaving and what finish you're looking for. But basically, just want to get all the little holes filled in, all the lines out, like that right there. That needs to be needs to be smoothed in because it'll show through. All right, so once you get her where you want her, take the broom. You don't want to put a lot of pressure down. Just kind of lightly drag it across. Puts a nice little texture in it. And you can overlap it right here if you want to. If you put it over here too far, it'll fall off and it'll get all goofy looking. So just overlap it there a little bit. There you go. B-A, beautiful. All right, guys, this is where we're going to leave it out here. Eric's gonna finish up the rest cleaning and I gotta get something else. Isn't that beautiful? I was talking about the river, not the concrete. Yeah, I figured that. <laughs> but uh yeah, she turned out pretty good. We'll try to come back. I think the stone mason's gonna be up here uh later this week to get all the stone veneer on it. So I may try to come back and get some uh, video of that, but all right guys, I just want to stop by here and get a little bit of quick video of this wall finally done and man did it turn out good look at that that is awesome for everybody I thought it was going to be an ugly old industrial wall i think that turned out pretty darn sharp i wasn't here when the masons were here but that's kind of what they call like a dry stack so that wall can move a little bit and not have any issues but there she is all finished up We got the back side, got the front of the house to match. I don't care what anybody says, that's sharp. As always, guys, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. We'll catch you on the next one.